The DRDO is procuring ground mobile launcher for M1 missile of PGL Assam Air Defense System. Hindustan Aeronautics will begin deliveries of 12 Su-30 fighter jets to the Indian Air Force starting in April 2027. Indian Army has tested Kalyani's Garuda 105mm gun in a paradrop exercise from a C-17 aircraft. Turkey has said that its upcoming Anchor 4 UKAF will have the capability to fire hypersonic ballistic missiles. Mazagin dock shipbuilders held the plate-cutting ceremony of the first of 14 fast patrol vessels and first of six next-generation offshore patrol vessels for the Indian Coast Guard. A parliamentary committee has suggested that the government should consider the immediate acquisition of state-of-the-art fifth-generation fighter jet. Solar Industries is preparing to significantly increase its production capacity to meet large-scale orders of Nagastra loitering munitions from the Indian Army. The DRDO has transferred the technology of its lightweight bullet-resistant jacket to Meadani Group, SMPP Private Limited, and Air Polymers for production. After commissioning in Russia, Indian Navy's INS-2 Shield Frigate has begun its maiden voyage to India. The DRDO has signed Memorandum of Agreements for Development of Indigenous Ballistic Material with Reliance Industries. The twin-engine deck-based fighter is on track for a critical design review by mid-2025. Russian state officials have said that on the sidelines of Russian President Vladimir Putin's anticipated visit to New Delhi in early 2025, Russia will propose a government-to-government -government deal for selling its Su-57E fifth-generation fighter jets to India. Officials have informed that Russia will offer 70 Su-57 fighter jets to India that will be equipped with advanced AL-51 F-1 fifth-generation engines, with capability to fire hypersonic missiles, and interestingly, the Su-57 fighters will be priced significantly lower than the French Rafale aircraft. With AMCA's squadron entry timeline slipping past 2035, the speculation has begun that there is a window of hope for the Su-57 in India. With a aim to enhance the performance of the cavalry engine program, particularly with the integration of a new afterburner section to increase thrust capabilities to 80 kN, the gas turbine research establishment is gearing up to conduct extensive tests on various materials for aero engines focusing on titanium alloys, nickel-based superalloys and steels, to validate the performance and durability of these materials under operational conditions. This testing will involve collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics and the Indian Air Force utilizing the MiG-29, and the aim is to ensure that the cavalry engine meets the demanding requirements of modern fighter jets. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.